single time that you guys are playing guitar, every single day when you guys are practicing, you guys are doing that exercise and you're also doing our finger warm ups exercise. So this is what we call a routine, a practice routine. And just like in PE, um, you know, your PE teacher says, okay, everyone go run. You know, everyone go run around, <laughs> run around lap, right? Around the field or something. This is our lap around the field. And the ra- lap around the field gets f- um, blood to our fingers, gets our bodies um, and the muscles that we need working in the right way. Um, and as you're going through this, I want you to kind of do like a body check. Are your feet flat on the ground? Is is your is your back straight? Are you hunched over? Are you sitting up extra straight? Because all those little things really help out. We're going to start off on the low E string right now. And just a reminder, if you guys pin, go up to my box. If you guys want to see a little bit bigger, you can always pin my box if you want to make sure it's there. Okay, here we go. Low E string. One, two, three, four. Your turn. Nice. By the way, I like it when you guys have your cameras on. It means I know you're doing the right thing. I can see your fingers. It's great. A string. Your turn. We're warming up. D string. Your turn. Okay, Alex, I get it. That was the G string. Now it's your turn. Even if yours is not as fast as mine, that's okay. B string. Oops, I kind of botched that note, but oh well. E string. Good. Okay, I'm going to do that again. This time we're going to do a little faster, though. Okay, so we're going to start off with each string. And I want you to, like, we're just going to kind of clean up our transitions. So here we go. Low E string. One, two, three. Your turn. Moving on. A string. Your turn. Next string, D. Your turn. Next string, G. Your turn. B string. Your turn. Last one is the E string. Your turn. Cool. Relax your hands really quick. Give yourself a fingertip massage. Fingertip massage. That really helps. All right, we're going to do a reverse warm up. Reverse warm up means we're going to start with three and we're going to move them. So taking down each string. By the way, I don't want you guys to jump fingers. Try to keep all three fingers down and take them away as you go. By the way, this is like really old. Like this technique is hundreds of years old. Um, so, you know, it's actually something that we've borrowed from violin players. Violin players figured out this is the fastest way uh, to go. So guitar players have really adopted it. And the reason I say borrowed is we all know that the violin's a little older than the modern guitar. Here we go. So three fingers down on the high E string, the thin one. And I'll play it first. You guys echo. Your turn. Three fingers down on the B string and your thumb. Remember, it's not uncommon for your thumb to get lost in this exercise. So make sure your thumb's in the right space. G. Your turn. The D string. Your turn. Nice. I like how Bianca has her camera set up because I can really see her fingers, see what's going on. This is the A string. Don't forget your thumb. And lastly, the low E string. This is the one that can be really rattly. So it's okay to do it light. Just a real careful touch. Maybe a little extra squeeze with your left hand. Light touch. 
And just a reminder, if you're kind of having, if you're not squeezing enough, like it looks like my fingers are in the right place. You might get duddies like that. Or if you're plucking too hard, you know, just a little harsh. So just know that you can control that. It's a light touch. Last one, that's the low E string. Cool. All right, now what I want you guys to do is go over 